Happy holidays, everyone. It's a busy week for a lot of people, I'm sure. And so with that said, let's get right into today's two minute tutorial. I made this video previously and received a comment from Zulala7322 asking if I could do a tutorial on how to make fishnets. So Zulala, thanks for watching and commenting. And here's the tutorial you requested. So if you watched the previous video, one of the things I mentioned was finding the general shape of the mesh. And for fishnets, they fall into the category of diamond mesh. Now, even though the shape is a diamond, I actually do this with the pen tool. Make a straight line, then duplicate it. I usually make around six total. Then select all the lines, rotate and copy them 90 degrees. Lastly, select all the lines and rotate them 45 degrees. Right now the lines form diamond shapes, but they're a little too perfect. So while all the lines are selected, I just take the bounding box and squish all the lines in and elongate the diamond shapes a bit more. Now with the rulers, I mark the repeat. And for the fishnet, I usually just mark where two lines intersect. Create a definition box and then drag the art and the definition box into the swatches panel. And now all you have to do is fill your shape with the fishnet. One quick note, unlike the mesh I discussed in the other video, if you need color, you may need to make separate swatches. Since you actually see through the fishnet, technically the black lines are what should be colored. So you need a separate swatch for each colorway. But I have seen people make fishnet and use the same technique I showed in the previous video with the multiply blending mode. And it was acceptable, so it's not totally frowned upon. Thanks for watching today's video. If you are new to Illustrator for fashion design, check out the links in the description for more information about my online classes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and holiday, and I'll see you next time.